okay, so you're chopper. This is like the first invert you're probably going to work on. And it can be challenging and it can feel very impossible, but I'm going to take you through some steps to help you prepare to do your chopper so that by the time you're actually trying it, you'll be ready to do it. Remember to stretch first. Honestly, this is the first uh, invert that people learn and they usually learn it wrong. Most people learn it by just throwing their bodies into it and then they gradually get the strength forward. But you want to do it the other way and build the strength for it first and then do the invert. Because when you do it that way, then so many other things are like easily accessible to you and you limit your risk of injury. So let's start with some standing prep called knee tucks. So depending on where you are, you might want to start with one leg first or maybe you can start with both legs. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So first you're going to come, this is coming from our bicep grip. So you're going to bring the pole to your armpit Bend your arm forward, elbow forward, about cheek height. Outside hand is gonna come on top of that. And you're gonna bring your hips in front of the pole and your legs are gonna be a little bit out in front of you. So I'll also show you from the side. So from here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to bring both of my knees up by tucking my tailbone under. So you don't wanna jump into it, but you wanna use your strength to get into that position. So it's gonna look like this. If you find yourself like rolling around out of it, it's because the squeeze isn't tight enough. So make sure you're really thinking about bringing your, your elbow and this bottom part of your arm in toward your body. And the top arm is pulling down. If you can't do both knees at one time, you can try to do one at a time, but where there's a moment where they're both in the air. So for example, leg like up, both off the ground, switch. So you can try it with the single legs first and then go to double knees, or instead of bringing both knees up bent, you could also try it with both legs straight. So that would be, And this last time that I did it, I did it without my feet touching the ground. That's an, another uh, upgrade that you can do. So between your sets, don't let your feet go to the ground. Keep them elevated. That makes it a lot harder. Okay, let's take it to the floor. I'll pull myself down. So if the pole's in my armpit, I'm going to hug my elbow into my rib cage and squeeze in my top hand. Is going to come above that and I'm going to pull down. So I'm squeezing in with my bottom arm and pulling down with my top arm. From there, the action that's going to happen is I'm going to lift my knees. I'm going to tuck my tailbone and lift my hips. And then I'll open up into a straddle. So a good prep for that is bringing your angles together and think about bringing your knees up to the ceiling. What you're not going to do is just throw your legs back and use momentum. You're going to use your lower abs to curl your hips up and think about bringing your knees to the ceiling. So it's going to look like this. And it might not be a big movement, especially at first. So you don't want to do this. Well, I'm just throwing them back and my feet are going to the ceiling. See how my feet are coming up? What you want is your knees to come up. So let's practice the action. Knees out to the side and legs up. Now let's try it with the tuck. So you're gonna bring your hips up and down. Curling my tailbone and coming up. One more from the floor. We'll do it as if we would do it in the air. So your arm will come back, tilt back, lift your hips up. All right, so go back, straddle the hips. So from the front angle,
And don't forget to do both sides. So now that we've done our floor preps and we know what it feels like to tip back and also to open our legs up into a straddle, let's try it all together. Remember, what you don't want to do is just throw your head back. You want to keep your tailbone tucked, kind of that um, like a hollow body position. Keep your body controlled. Don't just jump into it. So it's going to look like this. So knees in, open up, then come down with control. Also, you can try from a first level climb, and of course you can also try it on spin pole. Remember, be safe. So let me know how you're finding the chopper and drop down, leave comments. I'll see you for the next tutorial.